Okay, so here I want to look at um, identifying where we have horizontal and vertical tangents to uh, this curve, which is um, x squared plus xy minus y cubed equals 7. Okay. So we're expecting to find one horizontal tangent and two vertical tangents. Right, and it looks like even here Desmos maybe has identified for us candidate points for this. So let's go see if that's really what it's doing. This, that's just an intercept. It doesn't seem to have cared about that as much. So let's take the graph away. Um, and we need to start with our implicit differentiation. And so if we're working with the curve uh, x squared plus xy plus y cubed equals 7. So we implicitly differentiate that, and we wind up with 2x plus y plus uh, x dy dx plus 3y squared dy dx equals 0. On the handout, you had a question that asked you to find the equation of the tangent line at a specific point. I'll trust that you're able to do that and focus on the horizontal and vertical tangents here. So that's going to require that we actually solve for dy dx, and a little bit of algebra will get that this is minus 2x minus y over x minus 3y squared. Now if you remember from the previous example, we're going to get, if this is 0, we get a horizontal tangent, and if the denominator is 0, we're going to get a vertical tangent. So, well, this horizontal tangent seems not so bad. We say, okay, minus 2x minus y equals 0, or y equals minus 2x. And now you say, well, what do we do with that? Well, we go back and we do just what we did before, except instead of having a specific number for y, we have y in terms of x. And so we put that into the equation of the curve up here. Right, we've got our equation of the curve that we want to put that specific y value into and we'll get uh, now x squared minus 2x squared minus 8x uh, cubed equals 7 which tells us that uh, 8x cubed minus x squared minus 7 equals 0 and um, Solving that for x uh, with a Wolfram well, Alpha or graphing calculator tells us x equals 1. And so then we put our x equals 1 back into there and we get y equals minus 2. Let's get the graph back here. Um, horizontal tangent, uh, x equals 1, y equals minus 2. Yeah, that's right around where we expected to find it. And if I put in the line y equals minus 2x, what we've really said is the horizontal tangent has to lie on the line y equals 2x, which is this purple line. And so what you've done here is say, okay, I want the point where y equals minus 2x that lives on the blue curve. So you've put y equals minus 2x into the curve equation and solved, and you found out that that point really is 1 minus 2. Okay, so now let's go over to vertical tangents. Okay, so let's turn our attention to the vertical tangent line problem. Um, so here we need our denominator to be 0, which said we need x minus 3y squared to be 0, which is that uh, x equals 3y squared. Again, we substitute into the curve, and we wind up with um, 9y to the fourth, uh, plus 3y squared minus y cubed equals 7. And so solving that, we get that y equals minus 1, or y is about 0 0.888. Again, drop those up into there. We get then that x equals 3 uh, for that one, and we get x is approximately 2.366. For this one, let's bring graph back up. So the green curve is the parabola x equals 3y squared. And here we look um, 
over three, one, two, three, uh, down one. Yep, there's a vertical tangent. And over uh, 2.366, yeah, that's about there. And then up a little bit less than one, yep, that one's there. So those were the points that Desmos had flagged earlier, if you remember. So we actually um, does some nice things there that it was highlighting them. Uh, I think if I turn off the blue one on and off again, oh, it doesn't want to give them back to me. Okay, but the key idea here really comes down to that you get a solution for the numerator or the denominator of dy dx equals zero, and if that doesn't give you uh, both x and y coordinates, always just go back to the equation of the curve. Worst case scenario, you've eliminated one of the variables, um, and then you just have an equation that you can use your favorite piece of technology to solve.